Hi, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to psychic surgery. Uh, I have been doing psychic surgery for about 20 years um, as a Reiki master and as a practitioner of other arts. I literally have uh, used this for other things. I didn't know that we were going to be in the middle of a pandemic. But now that we are in the middle of a pandemic, I find that this methodology would be very helpful. Uh, I hope you tune in and stay tuned in because at 5 30 we're going to be doing Killing the Earth and a number of people are going to be joining us. And at that point, we will unmute. Well, you raise your hand and let us know and we'll come and view. And you can ask for healing for yourself or for your loved ones, anybody that is sick or anybody that um, is potentially in danger from the pandemic that is going on. So we'd like to uh, start by talking about what is this methodology and how you can use it for yourself. Basically, most of healing works in the understanding that your brain heals yourself. And if you can tell your brain to have certain messages, then your brain will start to heal yourself. Your body works this way. So, for example, uh, you get the flu or you get a normal virus, and that healing uh, message goes to your brain and says, you need to white blood cells and you need healing and this is part of your body whatever it happens to be and your brain responds to that sometimes however we get attacked by something that is larger than what we can normally handle and so we need to send extra messages to our brain to do this kind of healing and in the case of something like cancer perhaps coronavirus, and our brain hasn't gotten the message yet. So the psychic surgery is about a journey to show your brain where perhaps you need that healing. And once we focus with a kind of spotlight, which is why we call it surgery, then that spotlight can heal that part of your body that is running through. And we, we know something about this virus. We know the virus is concentrated from here to here, which helps us actually. Okay, we don't have to worry about our arms or our legs or a reproductive, for example. It attacks mostly in the lungs and mostly in the heart. So the journey we're going to take is many of you are baby boomers, for example, and you saw this old movie called the uh, Fantastic Voyage. Okay. And in the Fantastic Voyage, they shrunk into little people. And when they went into little people, they went inside the human body, and we got to see all the things that were inside it. Well, a lot of times when we do healing, we keep concentrating on the outside of somebody. We concentrate on the outside of our bodies, as an example. Okay, and we try to concentrate the energy into our body. Well, psychic surgery is about getting inside your body instead of outside your body. And believe it or not, you know your body best, even if you haven't been inside your body. It's your body. So even if you're not using this right now for coronavirus, this methodology can help you know the inside healing of your body. So for example, let's say you have uh, some sort of, um, I don't know, hyperactivity or something. By knowing how to get inside your body and calm your body and cool your body, you can cool yourself down and calm yourself down by yourself without medications, without needing outside help, without going to a healer every five minutes, doing it yourself. So you'll find that when we teach healing at the Munodot Kabbalah, we always teach that you are the healer and that you can do this. That's all I'm doing is teaching, facilitating that, surely. And once you have this methodology, you can listen to it over and over and over again to learn how to do this type of healing for yourself. 
And so we're going to start just with visualization. And people always ask me this question. Cheryl, closing my eyes and I'm visualizing something. How does that help me feel? And that's because, and again, your brain is the most powerful tool that you have that in your heart. Okay. And your brain knows that when you're visualizing something, and that's how we empower things. That's exactly how we accelerate, how we become powerful beings. That's how we empower in the earth by dreaming, by visualizing, and by knowing where we want to go and seeing ourselves in that, at, that, in that position of power. And when I say power, I don't mean you know, that type of power. I mean, that you are in control of any disease that happens in your body, that you are in control of your body function, that you are controlled to not allow outside environmental items in by one, positivity, right? We know that stay positive. Two, by our words, we say things that are empowering and are powerful. I am a healer. Let me hear everybody say that. I am a healer. I can heal myself. The outside environment cannot hurt me because I am in control of my body. So once all of a sudden this visualization, your brain takes over and your soul takes over and allows that visualization to start to become a real empowerment of your body. So we're going to take our fantastic voyage here. And we're going to make ourselves into our own little people and go inside our own bodies. bodies. And, most, and most of you have not, not been inside your body. Your body. So, so I always, always find the first time, time that I facilitate somebody through the sacrifice, they are shocked of what they actually can see inside their own body. So I'm going to ask everybody to take a deep breath. I'm going to keep my eyes, eyes open on during this, this one, one because, because uh, I, don't, I don't need to do it myself. I can see the slide. And I'm going to be there for you uh, through the meditation. So here we go. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Sit back. Relax. Turn your videos off. I've uh, got the sound off and everybody. So just relax. Take it easy. Put your feet on the ground if you can. Uh, cross yourself. Put your hands up like this on your lap. And you get very, very comfortable. We're going to take a deep breath. We're going to bring that deep breath in and then all the way down through our diaphragm. We're going to take another deep breath and then we're going to bring this deep breath all the way in and all the way down through our feet. And we're going to grow some roots on the bottom of our feet and we're going to bring energy up from the earth. So first our left leg and our right leg. And you just visualize that connection coming to the face of the spine. This will keep you grounded. So when we go inside your body, you can come back out. We, we ground that energy because we're going to bring a lot of energy in, and we want to ground that energy at any time. So just visualize our beautiful sun, our beautiful earth, and our beautiful sun that it brings us energy. And we're going to bring that light of the sun. And depending on your belief system, and I don't really care what that is, you can bring the divine power in, you can bring the earth energy in, you can bring whatever your religious belief or spiritual belief in makes in a difference to just bring the light. Whatever you call the light in, whatever you believe that light is, you're going to bring that light energy into an invisible hole on top of your head, which we call the crown chakra. You can bring that crown chakra in and that light between uh, down on the visible hole in your head, down into what we call your third eye, which is an open thing that babies have that are available, and bring that behind our throats, into our throats, into our heart, into our solar plexus, into our bellies, and finally connecting it with that earth energy we just brought out into the face of our spine. And that is our balance of light coming in. We're going to visualize ourselves in that light. And instead of visualizing ourselves as big people, we're going to visualize ourselves as a little person, a very tiny little person. And this person is going to basically be your eyes. And we're going to take those eyes and we're going to go bring them through the crown. 
Saturday into Lewisburg. And this is our first step of psychic surgery because you're in your throat. And as you all know, the coronavirus comes into you by your nose or your throat. Okay, all of this area. That's how you get it or you can get it to the contact of your skin and then you touch your nose and your throat. So your first area of defense are your nose and your throat. Actually, the first area of defense is your brain, okay, because that can defend it again. So we're going to be in the nasal passage and go into and just look at it, okay? So we're going to be this little person and then this little person goes into First, your left nasal passage and your right nasal passage. You go right up, left, and right. And just bring the light with you. And you're going to spread that light that you got from the sun. And you're going to spread it into the left nostril and into the right nostril. And if it's not happening, if you're just making it up, let it make up until your brain takes over. Your brain will take over. It's the most powerful tool that you have. And so allow that light in the left, in the right. And we're going to use this sunlight as a surgical tool. And what kind of surgical tool are we going to use? We're going to make it spin. And so it's kind of like a little rotor motor. We're going to take a light rotor motor from the sun energy or the light energy or the divine energy. You know, whenever you want to bring light in, it's light. And then allow that little rotor motor to clean up that left nostril, like, like going into your right, your right nostril. And what you're doing with the light now is just cleaning out that needle passage. You know, now we're going to take a little journey, and you're going to see from your nasal passages, it's going to go right behind your throat, and you're going to see in them. It's the same thing. Take your road reader, one of these road reader, covering that complete throat. And of light, and you're going to turn your little motor of light. Basically, what you're doing is spinning sun, spinning light, spinning the divine energy. Okay, and you're going to go around your throat. I can't talk and do it myself. So it's going to go down your throat and behind, and just look, look at your tonsils, see them, clean them out. I'm going to drop down a little further. And normally what I do when I'm doing a psychic surgery, I help people go into their hearts. Because when they go into their hearts, that's where most people have, have the type of, type of energy, energy that psychic surgery needs to work on. Work on. So, so instead, because we're, we're dealing with lungs, lungs we're going to concentrate on all the lungs. So you're in your throat, and you're going to drop down. And first we're going to do our left lung. And you're going to bring the road root up. Up completely down completely into the first lung. And soft to soft to just look at it. Um, relax yourself as your sunlight comes in, it gets a little bigger in the lung because you want to clear it out. In that left lung, you're going to spin that light, spin that energy. If you see anything in there, like, like let's say you see a dark spot. A dark spot means you've got the beginning of some sort of disease. And when we call it disease, because your lungs normally should be at ease. And if any time something is in there, it means you're at this ease. And then that's all you've done is allowed that virus in. And then so we're going to spin and look. You know, you know, is there any, anything microscopic in there? Anything dark? Anything, anything not divine light, not and anything not of the sunlight, and anything not clear, anything that has a blockage, and allow yourself to spin that energy all the way down that left lung. And you're going to keep spinning it all the way down to the lung and then come back up. And then you want to totally, totally clear that left lung completely. And then clearly, and then you're going to come back right back up to your throat, and then you're going to come down your right lung. And at some point, it will click in. Your mind will take you on a journey to understand that what you want to see is the inside of your body. The first time I did this, I was amazed. I knew every part of the body, 
And, and I'm, I'm not a nurse. I've never studied, studied biology. I'm a Reiki master. I don't, don't really, really know what the inside of the body is. But I, I could see inside myself the, the different parts. And that I can get in there and feel it. And, and so I'll go into your right lung and spin the energy. Spin it around and around and around and around. And allow that energy to cleanse it all the way down your lung. And all the way back up your lung and then back into your throat. And then once we're in the throat, we're going to take it back down a little. And I talked about the heart. We're going, We're going to strengthen the heart with this and remove anything that is in that heart area. And if you look at the heart from the inside, you'll just see a lot of different areas, I call them, of, of that heart. And you're going to bring that right there in your little spinning type of thing. Spin your rotor rooter clear out your heart. Why do we need to do the heart when we need to do the lungs to respiratory disease? Because a lot of people's hearts are failing during all their other respirators or when they get this disease. And anything that happens to be in you is coming up out. And this is why this is something that can help you. This is, you can literally spin that light into your left ventricle and into your right ventricle, and then you're going to bring that energy up and bring that energy all the way to healing. Okay, so and bring your little rotor rooter after you've done the heart back up to your throat. Now there are other tools we can use. I'm using the rotor rooter because this is a virus, and then when you have a virus, it's all over the place, and then you need to spin that energy in order to heal, to heal yourself. Okay. Normally, what I use is I literally will use a focal point of light. So if you find a black spot somewhere in your lung, like let's say you're a smoker or something, you can hit that black spot with a pinpoint of light. Kind of like a scalpel, which is why we call the psychic surgery, and it's in that pinpoint of light into that part of your lung that it is healed and then remove anything from a tumor, tumor to uh, unhealed energy that it was beginning to pass, as an example. Okay, so in your breath system now, you're going to bring that light and your rotor rooter completely down into your complete respiratory system to so bring it all the way down into your diaphragm as you clear the complete breathing area. And then we're going to bring it back up. And again, if you see something inside yourself that is a darkness or blackness or something that is unhealed, then bring that scaffold of light, which is kind of visualized as a pinpoint of light, focused on that black area, um, and concentrate it, concentrate that light in, and concentrate it for as long as you need to bring that in. Okay. And then breathe, and continue your journey, and to see your journey inside yourself. Now, what I encourage you is that we have the recording on this. We're also doing Facebook Live, and we're going to save it up to our YouTube channel. Uh, all the all the YouTubes will be under one watch list, which is Earth Day Festival videos. And so I encourage you to take this meditation and do it again and again and again until you master it. Only you can master this. Only you can be as effective inside your body using your brain and be as an effective to remove as much of this particle. And you can use this for anything. I'm using it right now for the virus. If I was using it as a tumor, I would be pointing it. I also hit it, um, another surgical tool I use, is it's kind of like, like a gun. I visualize the energy going, kind of like an energy to, kind of like a rhythm, okay, 
where you hit that tumor as an example. That, 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 that. But before the coronavirus, I literally am suggesting the rotavirus that it goes through your whole system and kills it wherever it is. We really don't know enough about this virus to know where in our bodies it is. So you can carry the virus. Um, I help people, uh, you know, work on their womb areas and work on, on different areas of their body, even down to, you know, a, a injured toe, as an example, with the psychic surgery. So I encourage you to watch the video over and over and over and again. And um, it's 5.30, so we're going to welcome now and start the light up of the earth. And as we light up the earth, I'm going to welcome you to also put in healing from uh, your loved ones or yourself. If you are suffering right now for anything, it does not need to be coronavirus in any way. But if you are suffering from uh, anything, any ailment whatsoever, I encourage you to do it. But we're going to do a visualization to light up our earth now. And I'm not just going to use Reiki here. A lot of people I do not know Reiki. Okay, and while I'm going to send Reiki, because I'm a Reiki master, I'm going to encourage you to follow the visualization of what we're about to do as we light up the earth. And as we light up the earth, Okay, we are going to um, uh, just, again, use a visualization process and a healing process. We're going to send out energy. And can you do this if you're not a healer? Yes, which is why we're not going to use Reiki. Okay, you are naturally, all people, I, I studied with Diane Stein, who wrote, all women are healers, and later on, all people are healers. Everybody has the ability to heal, otherwise you wouldn't be alive. If you had, did not have the ability to heal yourself, you, you would not live. Okay, you have to heal yourself, that's why you get a fever, that's why your body has resistance, that's why you would never, you'd be living in one of, one of those bubbles or something, if you couldn't do that. Okay, so, so you are a healer. healer, and I want to encourage everybody to know that they are healers, and that as a healer, okay, you can heal the world. Okay, is anybody waiting in the waiting room? Yeah. Okay, if anybody's waiting for the 5:30 light up the world, we're letting you into the room now. Okay. Okay, so take a deep breath, and then the most important thing you can do is connect to your light, whatever your light is. And I've said before, your light can be the divine light, your light can be the sunlight, your light can be spirit light, your light can be your own soul, your light can be the divine power or any religion, whatever you would like to call it, okay? Those powers coming in, visualize that light. And it's easier if you visualize it coming from the sunlight and knowing that it's the divine light or whatever it is that you believe that light is coming in and allow that light to come into you, behind your eyes, into your throat, into your heart, down your left arm, down your right arm, and I would encourage everybody now to take that light and just feel. Feel your left hand facing your right hand in the balance. I mean, put it really close. You will feel the energy coming through your hands. And it came from the sun or the divine light, whatever it came from. And just feel that energy there and play with it. But we're going to expand that light as you can. And if you're more experienced, you know, you can put your hands all the way out. You'll feel that energy. If you just first time doing this, that's okay too. You know, you might just feel a little of that aura energy coming out of your hands. But feel it coming out of your hands. That's all you need to do is feel it. This is all right brain on a, the feeling of it. And, and once, once you, you feel, feel it, it, I'd like you to hold it as a ball of light. Hold that ball 
as a light into your energy. Okay, this is healing light. This is healing energy that you can use in two ways. You can just this type of surgery. You can do that healing energy on yourself. But also, this healing energy, what we're going to do now is we're going to visualize our beautiful planet, the blue ball. So close your eyes and see our planet and see the inhaling energy. And everybody, you can light up the earth, and everybody push their hands up when we are Facebook Live as well as on Zoom. And the watch party going on. So we have three mediums coming in here. Everybody just put their hands up. See, it visualizes the earth from the distance and it sends this healing energy out to the planet. And the way to do it is just to breathe. Breathe that light continually in into your heart. You should feel your heart expanding, even if you only need to do it for this exercise. Give yourself permission to expand that heart. Have the energy go out in your left and your right hand and out onto the planet. And see the planet 100% covered with the healing energy light. And hold that energy. Okay. And now we're going to go closer. Closer to the planet. We're going to zoom in. Ha, if you're on Zoom. Sorry for the pun. Zoom closer to the planet, closer to the Earth. And we're going to take a journey starting in the United States. We'll stop at starting at the tip of the Maine. And we'll get close enough to send the healing energy to the peoples. We're going down Maine, Connecticut, New Hampshire. To New York, New Jersey, close enough to get the people to feel the healing energy. Delaware, Virginia, Washington, the Carolinas, Georgia, Florida, Ashton, Louisiana. Alabama, Texas, all the way across the state, from Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, out into California, back up to California, including Nevada, Arizona, Oklahoma, Washington. Back up across the top of the country. Out into Illinois, Wisconsin, Chicago. Back up into New York and then down in the middle, Tennessee. Tips of the Carolinas. Across the middle, the pan of Texas and Oklahoma, from the middle states, Ohio. So we've covered the complete country. Back out to California, to Hawaii and Alaska. Out to Asia.
and of course the hemispheres, Australia is really hurting, then the Meiji, Russia, up and down, cover the two hemispheres, Africa, India, Europe, Sweden, the UK, back across the ocean to Canada, down to South America, New Zealand, all these countries see the world close enough that the peoples receive healing. But we're going to push this healing now. We're going to be pushing it from our hands. Now we're going to bring the energy in and we're going to push it from our hearts. And we're going to push it from our hearts around the world and see the countries, see the people, see the northern hemisphere of North America, the southern hemisphere, Central America, Mexico, Costa Rica, see the light, send it around the southern hemisphere, the Africa, see the Antarctic, See the Arctic, see the energy being received to the people. And now that we have sent energy to the earth and we sent energy to the people, what we're going to do now is go after the virus. We're literally going to focus our energy instead of sending energy to exactly to the people. Now we're going to focus on the virus. So we're going to hone our mind that what we're looking for is something that doesn't belong here. Something that is, I used the word before, like this is. It's not in our comfort zone. Uh, this is kind of like an enemy. It's a biological enemy. It's a very microscopic enemy, an enemy, but it is an enemy that is coming out and attacking us. And so we're going to now focus on what a coronavirus looks like. We're going to go after it, just like we went after it inside our bodies okay, before. We did psychic surgery and we went after it inside of our bodies. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go after it in the world. And so let's go to the epicenter right now, which is New York City. We're going to focus on New York City, and we're going to notice over the city and come down and bring on light. And we're going to focus on the island of Manhattan first. And what we're going to do is, with our minds, we're going to visualize that we're sending light 100% exactly after the virus. And everybody's seen these pictures of what the coronavirus looks like. And so see the visualization over the city, in the streets, and everything else, even though we did a psychic surgery before, that was microscopic. And now we're going to kind of do the same thing, but instead of being inside of our body, for microscopic surgery, we were going outside of our body and looking anywhere on any surfaces that the coronavirus might be tra being transported from one person to another. And just see the streets, and we're going to basically blast it with light. We're going to go after, we're going to go after the, into the hospitals, we're going to see the hospitals and blast that with that light going after the visualization of the coronavirus. We're going to go after the visualization into hospitals, into makeshift hospitals. They have ships, they have, have schools, they have, have 
um, you know, areas all over the city that this is happening. I'm going to go into large apartment buildings where the coronavirus might be stuck in the vents, as an example. We're going to go past our light all over and into the city going after the coronavirus. And now we're going to go to the other boroughs. We're going to go to Brooklyn. We're going to go to Queens, where I grew up. Hi, everybody from Queens. Tuning in. We're going to go to the Bronx, where I was born, and my parents were raised. We're going to go upstate New York, up into Westchester. Up into the rest of the state, and we're going to spread that line. The next epicenter in the world is New Jersey, the second highest in the world. And so, again, we're going to go into the hospitals. We're going to spread that light and, and that light that basically destroys the virus into those hospitals, into the epicenters, into the supermarkets. And hopefully everybody is staying home until this passes. Okay, third in the world, we go back again, back to Italy and Germany and Europe, where they still have it. Um, well, they have it contained, but they flattened it, but they're still working hard on doing that. Back to California, which is right behind that. And we're going to go after the virus. We're setting our minds to go after the virus, just like we're going after the virus inside ourselves. We're going after the virus in the world and spreading that light and healing energy. And behind California is now Pennsylvania. Okay, stay home. Do not congregate. Okay, go so see Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, and see that light and the energy coming out in there. Behind Pennsylvania, if you jump down in our very hot state to Louisiana. Okay, stay home. Do not go out unless you absolutely have to. Do not, not go visit your mom and dad. You are dangerous to them. Okay, okay so Louisiana, Louisiana, we're going to spread that light in Louisiana. We're going to spread the light now to any governor that is allowing people out, okay, because they're going to be next on the list. Okay, so that's Georgia, Florida. They're going to be epidemic centers right now. Yeah, yeah. Two, two, three, three weeks before they become, become hot spots by, by, by loosening the ring before the scientists say that it's appropriate to loosen the rings. Okay, okay, so send energy to those states. And then they have, let's go back to China now. Okay, okay they've done a wonderful job of containing it. And if people are allowed out 100% with masks, although they're not allowed to congregate, they can go shopping and they can do certain things because they're at the past point where we will be two months from now. We'll be allowed out with masks so that we don't hurt others and we don't hurt ourselves, but more so we don't hurt others. So we don't lose our moms and our dads and the grandparents in the world and then the wisdom of those grandparents that we need. Okay. We have sent light to anybody that broke protocol, wishing them peace and health, that they are not typified for you, so to speak, and not spreading the virus. And we're going to send you know, energy to the rest of the states that are lined up. Um, behind that is Illinois, D.C., 
Detroit. Texas. Other countries, smaller countries in Europe. Japan, Russia, which is increasing, Russia is increasing cases by 3,000 cases a day, trying to contain it. I hope the message now has gotten through that we are one world. If any message that this virus is spreading to us, it's that it is not one country. It is not about one country. It is not about just your state or your country. We are all in it together. And when we loosen this up, we spread this. And instead of spreading viruses, if we spread love, okay, we can understand that. But right now, this contaminant is spreading it. My heart just weeps for those of you, so many of you that have lost loved ones. I grew up in New York. I was one of the brides and I'm from Queen. And every day on Facebook, I'm getting high school friends and loved ones and, and people who were neighbors, as an example, um, who are losing people every day. And if you live in California or wherever it is that, that is a hot spot of the virus, of Washington State, and any place that is a hot spot, your compassion has to be up here. Please only listen to medical professionals. Okay? Please pass the light. Please join together in a virtual handhold only. Bringing, bringing in the energy, in the energy from, your from your left hand, hand and out, out the energy from your right, right hand, hand so that the energy comes in the left, left to the right, right and, and all of those that need healing. I do, I do now, now want, want to open it so that if anybody, anybody wants to throw personal people out there, one, one by one, one who need healing, I will take that request on Zoom or on a message. And Dave is monitoring it very tight for me. Because he will be my ears as always, and I'm going to hear him, and then let me know whom we need to put in the circle right now who needs healing. And in general, until those requests come in, I would say that anybody who is suffering from the, the virus, okay, we will send energy out to you, we will send a light to you to help you with this. I do want to say that. Only 20%, only 20% of the people will get the virus in a major way, okay? Almost everybody that I'm finding from investing in New York actually gets it, okay? Only 20% of the people need help. That's good news. The bad news is that out of that, okay, two and a half to five percent need hospitalization, which we can't handle, we get from millions of people. And 2%, 2.5% are dying from it because we do not have a cure. So the more we can do energy-wise, the more healing that we can do, the more pressure we can do to bring in light and send energy to those and prayers to those who are suffering from this, the more we can move through the presented. Remember what we want to do. We want to slow the curve. So if we in holistic medicine can slow the curve by increasing our immunity and sending light energy and sending Reiki and other healing energies, and I spoke about the right machine, whatever it is that you need that you can use to improve your immunity and your energy, let us do our share. Because if we just take care of 2%, that may mean hundreds of thousands of people not dying. So we need healers. We need all of you healers. And I started this saying, you are all healers. So I would like to see you all doing this and repeating this constantly. So when you go to bed at night, let us, let us enact how...
say your prayers before bed, well, let's say your healing before bed and send healing energy out to the earth, out to the people of the earth, out to anybody who's suffering from coronaviruses. We have seen on Facebook some nurses and people who are suffering from corona say this is the most painful thing they have ever experienced around there which is why older people cannot handle that in their lung capacity and in their heart capacity so we need to spread our energy we need to spread that energy in do we have any requests for healing coming in Personal request for healing. Would it be personal request for healing? Let me check. Just a minute. Where do I need it? Everybody that I need it. You are um, unmuted, everybody. Okay. 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 And Facebook Live posts. Okay. 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 So. Without, Without personal um, wants, what I'm going to do then is I'd, I'd like, like each of you to visualize your loved ones, whether it is a husband or a wife, a child, a parent, a grandparent, an aunt, a cousin. I'd, I'd like, like to visual, you know, visualize that loved one, and we will send the energy in total. So each of you visualize your loved ones. And throw yourself in there. It's hard to do. People have usually have trouble visualizing themselves in the energy there. So visualize your loved ones, and we will throw this energy on out. We will throw visualize the sun coming in, coming in through the top of your head, behind your throat, into your heart, into your left, into your right hand, and send. That husband, that wife, that child, that energy. I know my daughter, for example, has asthma and allergy. And even though she's young, she's only 35, okay, she would have trouble if she went out and she always had a face mask because of asthma. But she would have trouble and she lived in Korea and had to wear a face mask the whole time because of the pollution, as an example. So I'm going to visualize her and send her energy for her healing. And I'd like each of you to visualize your loved ones, see them there, see this energy coming from your hands to them. And if you know anybody who has had heart problems, who is over 60 years old and should not be out, people on the front line are nurses, are doctors, our hospital workers, down to the smallest hospital workers, including the cleaning workers, people in the restaurants who are cleaning and cleaning, and people in the restaurants who are cooking for us, people in supermarkets who are out there on the front line in their masks, see them holding in the energy of life, people who are a police, a fire, our ambulance drivers, our garbage people who are picking up the garbage that may be contaminated. Other people in emergency type of situations, uh, fire people, Medical doctors who are working from their own office. I know my doctor does drive through. You can drive into their office in the parking lot. You text them and tell them that you're waiting and they send a doctor out to you to work on you or they call you in from the back office where it's totally uh, not contaminated and safe. So the doctors that are working on the front lines, they're nurses, they're assistants. They are office personnel, people who are working in nursing homes trying to keep our older parents and grandparents safe, our aunts, our uncles, 
We choose not to lose a generation. And that's why when we choose to stay isolated, we are choosing our own parents. We are choosing their help. We are choosing with love to love our parents and love the older generation by keeping them safe, keeping ourselves safe and keeping them safe. We are choosing our children to keep them safe. And at some point, okay, when the doctors tell us it's safe, we will be, it will be safe enough to slowly contaminate a small part of the population until we have a working force. Send light to those of us who are working at home. Okay, it's stressful. We have new technology that we need to work and new businesses we're creating. And if we're working from home and we're working with masks, often if we have to go out to get something like staples or something, okay, we are all working under high stress. So people who are out there, Crystal B would like to have healing for her grandmother, Claire Bale, who okay. is CD Young and Freddie Virus. Okay, we have a healing request on Crystal B, whose grandmother is 89 years old and is fighting the virus. And I'd like you all to close your eyes and we're going to send Crystal, if you could just visualize your grandmother for us. We're all going to send energy to you. And we're going to ask that Crystal B's grandmother, who is 89, receive okay. the divine and healing energy that we send out to her. So the whole Crystal B's grandmother, who's 89, has got to be very hard fighting this virus. Hold her in your life. Crystals from the love in your heart, send that light to her. And just feel that. Thank you, everybody, for sending that energy to Crystal B's grandmother. Who else needs feeling out there? I know Crystal B. I know Crystal. Okay, all the people who are delivering food, delivering Amazon, delivering um, from online stores across the country, people who are packing those and delivering. Okay, let's send them the energy. They are keeping the world going. Not just our country going, the world growing, going. I know when we get deliveries and, oh, I take Clorox pads, I wipe down the boxes, I open it up, I put it inside, I wipe down the boxes again. You know, all of these things that we are doing to keep ourselves safe and then let it sit for two days. Imagine being the person who's delivering. Imagine being the person who is packing it with a mask on. Okay, they're on the front lines. Uh, Uber drivers who, who have to go out sometimes to help some people, taxi drivers, uh, people like that who are driving people to hospitals and things like that, uh, putting themselves on the front line and at huge risk. Okay, um, who else? Anybody else want healing? I will be available after this. You can text me. At any time, uh, through Touch Mother Earth, or uh, email me at touchmotherearth.com, which is Cheryl at touchmotherearth.com, and I will send healing to anybody in the world who needs it. So if you want to message me, uh, don't call, please, I'm not here, and then we have a five-day festival we're in the middle of for the two more days. Um, but if you send a message to me after this presentation, um, then I would be happy to send healing to your loved ones again and again and again. And I know people have been messaging me for the last five days 
asking for healing, and that's fine. Please keep that coming. Uh, I had more than happy to be of service at this point in time. And almost everybody who's a living master or uh, hands on healer in any way is happy to be served so that, um, again, the more we can do it, the less stress on our hospitals and our medical worlds, which is trying to ease that curve so that everybody who needs a respiratory and will have a respiratory and when it's time to go, for us to go out and our medical professionals say it is time to go out. I thank you all. I bless you all. Again, if you didn't get to put your person in and if they want healing, just message me or contact me at charlotte.com. Uh, you can also always catch me at newthoughtkabbalah.com or on the Facebook page, newthoughtkabbalah, or catch me with the New Jersey nonprofit. I bless you all. I wish you continued help. If you missed the psychic surgery presentation, it will be up on YouTube and we will be doing uh, Facebook Live again and again. Learn that meditation. It can make a difference. Typically, um, you know, have a slight virus and a long virus. And that's what we're trying to do is have a low level of symptoms. Um, I also had a presentation yesterday on the right machine. If you missed it, it's up on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, Touch Mother Earth of which there are watch lists on uh, my spiritual videos, Rice Machine, uh, Earth Movies, Drumming, Dave and Cheryl having fun, our wedding uh, videos and stuff, which we haven't finished because we need to do all this. <laughs> okay. uh, but thank you, Crystal B, who keeps sending us all the, the peace card pictures of our, our wedding and everything. And, um, uh, we have uh, Touch from the Earth, and then the videos for the live festival will be up there uh, probably by the end of the week. All the videos into the Earth Day virtual live festival. We have coming up Beauty and Healing, uh, our closing ceremony tomorrow night at 11:30. Dave and I will close the festival off on Sunday night, but we have some great events coming up. So stay tuned for those. You can check all the events and use the links at touchwithearth.com. We take off the other day, so only Saturday is with the day that will disappear tomorrow, Sunday, so. but we have fabulous musicians. That I have joined with us. Every event is free. We do all ask for donations, of course, because of the Bible thing. But however, everything is free. So tune in, learn what you need to, think about what you need to. You can have healing, you can learn about new things, you can learn in a new school, you can sit back and listen to the musicians, you can sit back and sing. And then we can hear you. Wow, I love that. I can sing all I want with, with people that nobody hears me. It's actually wonderful. Um, and it's just a huge amount of things to, to tune in every half hour. So thank you for the blessing for being with us. And uh, we'll see you in the next event on touchmilitarist.com. Have a dessert? I have some, sure.